it's great stuff, isn't it? The Hypnotic. So you're going to play a blues song, something very different, later on in the program acoustically. And the influences are obvious. Hendrix, blues rock, and uh, of course the late 60s are very important to that band, although they're much younger than ever been in the late 60s. They were little babies at that time. But why do they like that era so much? Uh, that, that was the time when, you know, it was all the, the, the feeling of like, oh, come on, revolution, rock and roll's yeah. free, and, and everybody is for the people. And yeah. uh, there was a lot of, you know, riots going down at the time, you know, race riots, mm -hmm. and, uh, and there was a lot of uh, the culture changes going down at those times. And uh, that, that's why there's a link there, because they were the times when uh, it was the most creative time for, yeah. for guitar, loud guitar music, you know, the guitars were up. And it was all about, you know, emotion, kind of let's get together and have a common feeling and really mm -hmm. like, you know, against the system and, and all that kind of feeling. That, they're the times when that was happening. That's why there's a link there, because that's the times when that was the most fertile time for that yeah. kind of thing. That, that's why but how do you look back on that? Because people who criticize you say, yeah, but they're just nostalgic about it. I mean, we're not there anymore, it's 20 years later now. Yeah. I don't and know, I, the they, roots all come from the blues, it's just an emotional thing. It is, yeah. It's not a, it doesn't matter what, uh, well, there's two sides to every coin, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but uh, it all comes from the, 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 the blue, the roots of the blues is saying how you're feeling about certain things and everything and, and we're doing it in an uplifting form and people are bound to put this in the category of, you know, yeah. these American heavy bands or bands of the yeah. late 60s and early 70s, but it, it's now, we're, we're doing it for now, you know, it, yeah. you can't, it's like uh, saying love, uh, love is old fashioned, but love is yeah. just love or it's not, not, you know, not it's, fashion, it's there, it's, it's not, not a fashion. fashion. If it was good 20 years ago, it's still good today, because it's not a fashion, it's a feeling. Last week or the week before that, they just released a new live mini album called Live Than God. Yes, still The Hypnotics. And they're going to be seen live in this program after this last bit of interview, and uh, in which I asked them, well, the, the, there was obvious links with the late 60s, but who do they like today? Sonic Youth, Mud Honey, bands, bands like Nick, that. Uh -huh. Nick Cave, Cave you know, and Tom Waits. Is, yeah. They're all those people. They're, they create, uh, you put the, the records on, best records are where you put them on, and they change the atmosphere, you know, where the, you're, yeah. you're in an atmosphere, you're in your bedroom or you're, you're at work or something, and you put the, the music on and it changes the atmosphere that you're, mm -hmm. you're in. And that's when it's good music, is when it can grab hold of the atmosphere and change it. It's, you know, make you feel like you're living in some kind of movie. Do you know what I mean? You can uh -huh. put it on and say, oh, this makes me feel like, you know, you can put on some, uh, I don't know, for an example, you can just put on some Tom Waits or anything and it gives you the feeling of like, yeah. you, know, you know, down in New Orleans and like real uh -huh. sleaze and stuff. it's like that. Do you know what I mean? It's you, you hear the swamps yeah. rumbling in the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. That's what it's all this record. That, and that's, you know, good records. Uh -huh. and, and it's because... They it, set a certain atmosphere yeah, or yeah. something, yeah. you know, yeah. and you can choose what one you want to take. It's the good, the good music is the music that doesn't so, kind of have an age stamp on it you know like or a sell by date on it <laughs> do you know what i mean you know like you go to yeah. the supermarket and you buy uh, some oh, sell by blah, 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 uh, eat within five days uh, it's uh, the same for a lot of uh, commercial music exactly. these days you know eat within within five uh, consume within five weeks uh -huh. because you know there'll be another thing coming along then <laughs> it's that it's that's true, the yeah. thing and, and all the really good stuff is the stuff that, you know, just is, it doesn't matter what time you put yeah. it on, it can be old or it can be new, but it still has energy when you listen to it. And, uh, yeah. and, and that's the kind of, kind of thing that we, we want to we wanna make that kind of music or, or be yeah. associated, you know, in that bracket. Yeah.
If I call my baby You know that little girl will fail to come
Hypnotics live in 120 minutes. Remember where you saw them first? Very good band. By the way, after the break, we'll have some Japanese hip hop. Japanese hip hop, the creatures, and more music. And here, to please James Jones from the Hypnotics, here is Tom Wake.